This video is an example of how you can run interactive BI queries using a tool like Tableau with data held in Hadoop. It's a common misconception that it's not possible to do BI on Hadoop. This stems from a belief that Hadoop cannot support interactive SQL querying of data generated or submitted by BI tools. Using some Transport for London aka TFL bus data extracted between August and October 2017, we're going to show that interactive querying is possible on Hadoop. We're using TFL bus data as our big data set, but you can use your own data set and get the same performance. During this demo, every time we drill into something in the Tableau dashboard and get an answer, we're interactively querying data in Hadoop using Tableau and Cognitio. Let's look at the dashboard that's analyzing the data outlined in this blog. For this demo, we are using Hortonworks HDP on Amazon EC2 instances. Cognitio is running as a YARN application directly on the cluster and is providing a high performance SQL interface. Tableau is connected directly to Cognitio. The system is an 8 node cluster with 512 cores and 1.5 terabytes of RAM with 5.2 billion rows of transport data. Here we can see the data in the Tableau dashboard. At the top, we can see some statistics about the bus network. Map. On the left, we can see the activity by zone, also shown on the map as concentric circles. Each bar represents a bus route. The longer the bar, the busier that route was. When we hover over these, also known as action filters in Tableau, we're interactively querying the Cognitio SQL layer, which quickly returns both the number of records available and the route points. So the route and the zones it travels through can be plotted by Tableau instantaneously. The map is obviously incredibly busy, making it difficult to highlight a specific route. So let's filter the activity visual using the route ID parameter. We've selected route 9, which passes through Olympia, London. When we click on route 9, Tableau will transition to the next dashboard and query the Cognitio database based on our selection. The query took around 10 seconds to display the data of route 9 from all of the 5.2 billion rows of data we've accumulated. This dashboard shows a general report about Route 9 and its performance. It shows some basic stats, the stop sequence, a map of the route, an hour of day by weekday report on the delays, and the next buses to arrive on this route. At the top, again, we have some basic stats. We can also specify the direction and a cutoff date to look. We selected 28th of August 2017 at 6 p.m., so the rest of our analysis and reports will be up until this time. The hexagon shows stops on Route 9 in the outbound direction. Colors indicate delay, where early is blue, gray is on time, and red is late. Hovering over them reveals more information like the Napton identifier, zone, and average delay in minutes. In the 10 seconds, we have also generated the table to the right, showing us an hour of day by weekday average of delays on Route 9. As it's mostly gray, it tells us that generally buses are on time. The next buses table shows us the expected buses on this route. We're going to look at a specific stop now, Olympia. We've clicked to target Olympia and now Tableau is querying the Cognitio SQL layer to extract the Olympia bus stop from the other 17,000 stops and also selecting the relevant date window. At the same time, the dashboard has updated the hour of day by weekday and next bus report for our stop of choice. The speed of Cognitio allows this to happen almost instantaneously. We can see that generally punctuality is pretty good for Olympia and often a little early with two instances of lateness. Looking at the next buses to arrive at Olympia, we can generally expect to wait seven minutes between buses. But there's another consideration to be made other than delays. Until a bus arrives, predictions are returned by the TFL API and these change. When told that buses are on time, which of these prior predictions are actually being used? We could compare arrivals with the earliest prediction but a less deceivable angle is to look at waiting times between buses. This is modeled using a Poisson process. Let's look at that for bus stop 20, Olympia. We're querying the Cognitio SQL layer for data about a specific stop and time period, then generating the model across five different time periods throughout the day. Again, this returned very quickly whilst Tableau is transitioning from the previous dashboard. The top half of this dashboard is the expectation of waiting times across five time periods at Olympia and the bottom two charts show what's actually happening in the data. For a particular time period of the day, for example night or morning rush, we can see the number of buses expected to arrive in an hour and expected waiting time between buses. 
For the daytime period, 7.9 buses are expected per hour at just over 7 minute intervals. For the afternoon rush period, there will be 9.2 arrivals per hour, which is approximately 6.2 minutes between buses. However, averages can be misleading. The cumulative probability curves on the bottom left answers the question, how certain is a bus to arrive after waiting some amount of time? With the minutes weighted along the bottom, as I wait longer, I should be more certain that a bus will arrive as it gets closer to the average waiting times calculated earlier. This isn't the case though. In the afternoon rush period, we'd expect to wait 6.2 minutes. After I've waited an above average 7 minutes, the data is only 66% certain a bus will arrive, which is quite low. A steeper curve would indicate more confidence, which is not what we're seeing here. We're now counting the instances of wait times between buses, for example the number of times there was a 0 minute wait gap between two buses. For the day period, the yellow line, we see that there were 35 instances of a 0 minute waiting gap between buses, meaning multiple buses arrived at once 35 times. This is not centered around the average like we expected, and in fact the certainty in the left graph is only as high as it is because of these low waiting time gaps. Now let's look at these same graphs but for all the stops on Route 9. We are once again interactively querying the Cognitio layer to run the analysis across all of them. We're not just running our analysis for one stop, but for every stop on the route. For this we need ultra high performance from the SQL layer. Previously we thought that along a route buses would come at pretty constant intervals, but our analysis of the Olympia stop showed that this isn't the case. The top visualization shows us that actually the buses are not equally spread across the hour. There is sometimes quite a large waiting gap, for example between 16 and 20 minutes in the hour. Now the lines represent a stop on the route rather than a time period. The different colors are the travel zones, where blue is zone 1 and purple is zone 2. It's interesting that there's quite a difference between the certainties of arrival. For example, up to 20% in the same zone and the same route that a bus will arrive by that time. For the waiting time distribution, we can see that Hammersmith bus station is an unusual stop, where around 150 times buses had no waiting times between them. So at Hammersmith bus station, if your bus doesn't come in the first two minutes, you're likely to be waiting a long time. For all the other stops, they peak at around six minutes of waiting time, so there is some pattern to their arrivals but the zero minute waiting gap still persists. This concludes this brief demo which used Tableau to interactively visualize TFL bus data stored in Hadoop using Cognitio's ultra high speed SQL layer. This demonstrates that with Cognitio, interactive BI on Hadoop is possible using your preferred BI tools.